A complete redesigned keyframe panel in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve, a function to show your music beats of your song, Magic Mask version 2, and the AI music remixer to change the length of your song. But my absolute favorite AI feature I'm going to show you in the end, because now I'm going to walk you through each new feature that's worth mentioning in the new version of DaVinci Resolve 20. Without wasting any more time, let's start with the video. Yes, you heard right. We've got a completely new keyframe panel on the left side, where we can take precise control of the keyframes we've added in the inspector window. We can switch to curves, ease our keyframes and fully customize the curves. Under parameters, you can select what you want to see in the graph. And yes guys, we can now control our speed ramps as well, with controls like we only knew from the Fusion page before. If you'd like to see the keyframes under your video clip, you can activate this button here and you can also change the position here if you prefer. One important change I should mention right after the keyframe panel is that we now have the ability to import PSD files and extract individual layers into separate tracks. Just import your PSD file into your timeline, right click and hit split PSD layers in place. Then you can start animating them individually. Combined with the new keyframe panel you can quickly create nice looking simple animations right within the edit page. Don't worry, I'm going to post a lot of in-depth tutorials about each new tool. But let's continue with our list because we still have a lot of exciting things to cover today. Another thing you'll notice is that we've got a button here to get a bigger preview window when working on vertical videos. This is especially useful on the color page when you're color grading because now you can actually see what you're doing. We also now have the ability to record voiceovers directly inside the edit page. Just click on this button and in the new window you can choose your microphone and the track you want to record on, then press the button to start recording directly in your timeline. Another amazing new feature relates to editing with music. Editing to the beat is now easier than ever. Just right click on your song and hit show music beats, wait a second for the analysis and now you've got beat markers. When editing your clips will snap right to the beat. To turn it off simply right click again and deactivate it. Continuing with audio, we've got something really exciting. If you select your song and head over to the inspector window, there you'll find a new AI music editor. You can type in a specific length like one minute and hit adjust. And it will remix your track to that length. If you check the live trim box, you can adjust the song in the timeline and it will automatically adapt to your desired length. We also have the possibility to choose between different versions of the song. We've also got Depth Map version 2. For those who don't know it, the Depth Map creates a black to white mask that separates the foreground from the background. You can apply effects based on how far elements are from the camera, like blurring the background or color grading just the subject. Version 2 received a major update with sharper edges, resulting in much more accurate and better separation. In some situations, the depth map will actually give you better results than the magic mask. Another thing I'm really excited about is that the smooth cut transition now features a new AI integration, which is way smarter than the previous version. It's super useful, especially for talking videos where you have to make jump cuts. With this applied, the cut is almost invisible. Your content will look like it was recorded in one shot. And if you want to create those crazy morph transitions, it performs way better now. Make sure to try it out and get creative with it. It's really fun. One of the most powerful tools on the color page just got a serious upgrade. I'm talking about Magic Mask version 2. This new version is built on an entirely improved AI model, which means better tracking, sharper edges and much more accurate subject isolation. But the biggest change, instead of drawing a rough stroke like in version 1, Magic Mask version 2 now uses a point-based selection system. You just click on your subject to place points and Resolve figures out the rest. There's also a brand new paintbrush tool. You can now manually add or remove areas from your mask with strokes. Super helpful when the AI gets close but not perfect. So you can fine tweak the mask for individual frames. We also got a new effect in the Fusion page and in the effects pool of the edit page called Warper. It kind of works like Photoshop's Liquify or After Effects Mesh Warp. It allows you to create points or a mesh and warp them. If you activate keyframes, you can animate the warping points and create cool animations with tons of options to fine tweak in the inspector. 
More on that tool and its capabilities soon. In the Fairlight page we find a feature that is truly a game changer. You know those awkward moments when you cut between dialogues recorded in different settings, maybe even with different microphones? The sound profile just feels completely different. Well, Blackmagic just fixed that in a few clicks. In the Fairlight page, right click on your clip, go to AI Tools, Dialog Matcher and choose Capture Dialog Profile. Then select the clip you want to apply the profile to and hit apply. Now they'll sound like they were recorded in the same environment. Users don't know this one life hack. So make sure to stay until the end because there's a lot of tips and tricks hidden inside this video. We can finally animate our subtitles in DaVinci just like you see here. Because you can drag a fusion title with animations onto your entire subtitle track. There are also brand new titles specially made for caption animation, like the word highlight for example, where it automatically highlights the word you want. You can also find the write on option and you have many options to stylize your highlighted words. So you can fully customize them. We also got a new AI upscaling feature, which allows us to upscale up to 4x enhanced. That means if you import a 4k clip and upscale it 4 times enhanced, you can upscale your video to 16K. This only works obviously if we set our timeline to 15,360 by 8,640 pixels and then render it out. Depending on your computer, you'll either get extremely high quality videos or you can use it to cook dinner for your family on it. A highly requested feature they added is the new multi-text tool where you can add multiple text points and edit them individually. This gives you the possibility to really style it in depth. This panel works a bit like layers. The text on top will also be displayed on top in case you overlap them. We also got the possibility to create rounded text. This new feature makes it much faster to animate them individually. And you still have the possibility to animate them all at once in the inspector, like you're used to. Another amazing tool is called AI IntelliScript and it creates a timeline for you from a pre-written script. And all you need to do is right click on your clip in the media pool and transcribe it so you get your video in text form. After you've done that, you can close this window, right click on your clip again, go to AI tools and hit create new timeline using IntelliScript. Then open your original script file, which must be a .txt file. Once you import it, the AI will scan the script and create a new timeline with the matching spoken words. If you have multiple takes, they will be placed in the timeline as well and they are disabled so you can check which ones are the best. Let me know which of those features is your favorite and by the way, I'm going to make a ton of tutorials in the next weeks about those features, so let me know which you want to see first. Take these new skills and get creative.